Glory to Jesus. Amen. Holy Hill is the name of the Lord Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Beloved Church, your God is present, and I make burn in your heart the heat of my spirit, so that you may feel the people that have prepared. I have prepared your lives to my eternity, my beloved church. Glorify. Open up your hearts because I am pouring out many blessings and to you, my servant. You asked for blessing of cure. My daughter, you leave my house glorifying my name because I'm giving you the blessing that you ask. My servant, why are you sad? Be encouraged. You serve a God that knows all things. And God knows what you have been going through. And you and there have been waves that has have been raised against you. But now through this trial you will grow in my presence. And you will remember that everything that I have promised and given to you in your life, look towards heaven because I'm giving you the renewal so you can continue in my presence. Holy, holy is the name of the Lord. Now we're going to have a word of glorification to the Lord. Lord, we want to praise your name. We praise you because you are great. You have, have done great things among us. We praise the Lord because you are the one that reveals the depth of our hearts. You are the one who visit our lives in a wonderful way when you enter into your house. That's why, Lord, it's wonderful to serve you. It's wonderful to be in your presence. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that you has given us to be once again in your house, participating of this banquet, this wonderful banquet that you has given to us, this wonderful celebration we have felt your holy presence here in this place. We believe also that you are still going to continue to speak to our hearts through your wonderful word. And this is our adoration in the name of Jesus. My brethren, the peace of the Lord. Let's open up our Bibles in Psalms. <coughs> Chapter 142. Amen. And the Bible says the following. 
I cry out to the Lord with my voice. With my voice to the Lord, I make my supplication. I pour out my complaint before Him. I declare before Him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then you knew my faith, my path. Then you knew my path. In the way in which I walk, they have secretly set a, a snare, a snare for me. Look on my right hand and see, for there is no one who acknowledged us, uh, acknowledges me. Refuge has failed me. No one cares for me, for my soul. I cry unto you, O Lord, I said, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul unto out of prison, that I may praise. Brought my soul out of prison, that I may praise your name. The righteous shall surround me, for you shall deal bountifully with me. David, when he wrote this this passage, he was living a difficult moment in his life. David was like here at this moment in a cave called Cave of Adullam. That's where he wrote this psalm. And he knew this place very well. Because it was in this place on the va valley of Allah where this cave is located. A place with a lot of mountains and caves. That's where in this place that David defeated a man, a giant called Goliath. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember Goliath? In the moment in which Goliath he rose up against the people of the Lord, the army of the Lord, of the people of the Lord. A moment in which no one had the courage to uh, face Goliath. Goliath was on the other side requesting a man to fight against him and but nobody had the courage but it was David a young David that went in the name of the Lord and defeated Goliath and in the same valley David now for sure remembering his victories in the presence of the Lord hiding from King Saul and the life of the servant is like this highs and lows today is everything is fine today we are in the blessing the Lord spoke the Lord blessed the Lord gave us direction the Lord gave us comfort but tomorrow once again the trial comes but into see my brother we should never forget the blessing the Lord has given us. The fact that we always glorify the Lord, the fact that we all are always in the presence of the Lord is because we always remember and give worth to the victories the Lord has given us. In the moment in which David was alone with nobody to help him, nobody that would stay with him, the king saw himself who knew David very well together they have fought in battles David was called to live in the palace because of the victory against Goliath so King Saul knew David very well but now King Saul rises up against Saul against David and now in order to um, avoid the confrontation he hides in this cave he could have could have gone anywhere else but he chose the valley of Ella at the moment in which he was able to remember once again for sure one of the moments 
that was most a most beautiful moment of his life, a moment in which, in the name of the Lord, he defeated Goliath and was able to free his people and save the life of all the soldiers that were there on the camped waiting for the battle and now David he, this is his prayer his supplication to the Lord his cry the, his cry the prayer of David was like a shout to the Lord he didn't say he was inside of a cave so he had all the the right to shout to the Lord and put out all his sadness his anguish his disappointment with man and no one was there to help David. The Bible says, I looked to the side, nobody knew me, but the Lord knew my path. My brethren, when we feel like we are alone, but in fact we are not alone, because the Lord is always by our side. No matter that everybody might rise up against us and turn their backs to us but the Lord is always by our side and the Lord had, had a victory for David inside of that cave and that's where he uh, gave the blessing to him many times we don't want the trial we don't want the difficulty but here there is a teaching for us the Lord has a victory for you in every moment of your life. The Lord has the victory for you in the, at the right moment. That's why my brother and sister never give up on the Lord. Never forget the pro promise that He once gave to you. Never forget the call that once He gave to your life. I turned to my right and I saw that nobody recognized me. I uh, looked for a refuge, no, nobody took care of my soul. And I said, you are my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. And that's what we're going to do tonight, as we have been doing. The Lord said that He was going to bless us, that He was going to hear our prayers. And the service is geared towards this. And this is the moment in which we have to, we have to recognize that we are nothing. We don't have anything, humanly speaking. But we have a God that is the God Al Almighty. The God that always stretched His hand to bless us. That always sent His angel with the victory in His hands to hand to us. And this is the God that we serve. Like David, in, in such a difficult moment, running away. And he entered into this cave. And here this church is the cave of Adulan because it is here in this place in which we have remembered and and the many victories that we have had in the presence of the Lord the prayers that have been answered by the Lord the promise that have been made in this place that's why tonight in this place this place is the cave of Adulan for your life you who entered here anguish, depressed, tired, but the Lord is going to renew you here. And it was there. Many, 400 men, they were anguished. They were tired. They went after David. And there, they asked help from David. Like many others that are out there, they will enter here looking for the same blessing from the Lord, same direction from the Lord, the same comfort from the Lord, the same word that the Lord has have, has given us, a uh, word of comfort, care, a word that we always need. And when David was there, soon after the prophet comes, and the prophet tells David, come out, go back to Judah. And Pretty soon we will we'll also hear this word come out of the cave of Adullam. Let us go to Judah because that's where the Lord is waiting for, for us. To the new Jerusalem that we are going to be in the presence of the Lord. And by faith, Lord, the Lord Jesus is going to call us by our names. 
and we will be taken away from this world where there is not going to be any more suffering and anguish will be over and there will be only our lips praising the Lord and an eternal thankfulness for this great victory that He will give us. That's why tonight we're going to praise the Lord. We're going to shout to the Lord. Put, put it out of your heart. Praise for this. The prayer does for us what, where we can not go. Prayer takes us to eternity because that's where we, we want to be. But since we cannot be with the Lord at the moment, our prayer takes us there. That's why our prayers, through our prayers, we are able to see things that with our human eyes we could not see. Prayers like this, words cannot be like a, a, a prayer, a memorized prayer, it has to be something spontaneous, something that is, is something that we are being living. May it be in trial or in a blessing, we should always pray the Lord because only the Lord comes to our rescue. And when the Lord takes away from this trial, we will be once again praising the name of the Lord. When they ask, take me away from this prison so that I may praise your name and the, ju the just will be surrounding me because you have done good for me. This is the word that I have for the church. Not only our need will be heard by the Lord, but the need of our whole family, of those that are part of, of, of our circle, the ones that are target of our prayer, especially our family members. They also need a blessing from the Lord. They need the protection of the Lord, the deliverance from the Lord. So let us pray. Those that can may stand up. We're going to have a couple of prayers so that we then the Lord may hear our prayer and bless us in the way that He always knows. Amen. My brothers may stand up one up after the other, the other and pray to the Lord. Lord, we want to praise you for this moment in your presence. We give you thanks, Lord, for the opportunity of being in your, in your presence. And having this moment, Lord, of comfort, feeling, Lord, embraced by you, feeling, Lord, spiritually washed by the blood of Jesus. Beloved Father, at this moment I glorify you for everything that you have done for us. I plead to you now for the life of my family members, for those that are not saved, especially Lord. I plead for the life of my son who has been going through trials, but you are great. Because by faith we believe that these trials are going to be overcome. And when we fold our knees in your presence, we know, Lord, by faith that we are victorious in the name of Jesus. We have this assurance that at this moment I also place my supplication the supplication of your people and thank you Lord once again in the name of Jesus Amen
The try is a great Lord. But the coming of the Lord Jesus is near. We don't deserve any of it. Your love and your grace. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we know that are many there are you in your house, in your kingdom. How many are in hospitals? We ask you at this moment that you may send the angel of cure, the angels to give comfort them. They may have a night that tranquil. And I also pray for, in, on behalf of those that are, are taking care of them, the ones that you have prepared for, to take care of the body of your people, but also ask you that you cure their souls, bless them and cure them spiritually and physically, Lord, that our eyes may be open so we can see your eternity. We ask that you continue to take care of our lives every day. Guide us, give us your direction, Lord. From your Holy Spirit, I also ask you that you cure, to say, I pray for the salvation of my family. I ask you that you protect your people in schools, that you preserve our children in schools, our adolescents in intermediary. Protect their minds, Lord. That that. It may remain in their minds your blessing. We also want to praise you, Lord, when we place in this country. We ask, Lord, those that are here, that we may give them work, uh, give them prosperity, Lord. You may. Give them everything that your people needs. They may bless their health and their spiritual health. Especially, I want to pray for this church, preserve this church, bless it, every home. Give us your direction that we may seek your faith, face and cry at your feet, that we may every day remain in your presence. Yes, Lord, that you bless our homes, our families, preserve, Lord, our salvation. Bless you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Now we're going to sing a song.
Blessed be the name of the Lord. I would like to invite the church to stand up. The Lord has shown in a vision that a couple of brethren came here to the church today, especially today. They were they uh, had some were more tired than the others. We all have trials, but these ones were especially tired, and we are all throughout the service we were. We were um, guided to write letters with our needs. We received paper and pencils. But interesting that the the guidelines were not not to. We needed to write the letters on the floor, like, and that would cause us to kneel down. And as we knelt down and began to write those letters, interesting that who oh, had the vision. I know who had the vision noticed that one woman was writing about her son and she made mention of her son in, in those writings and interesting that everything that was written was written with blood the letters they were written with blood this pen had blood it was, had blood instead of ink when they wrote and the voice told her the following do not be worried because he was purchased by a, with a high price in other words the Lord is taking care of this situation the prayer that is being placed in the altar of the Lord about your son the Lord is hearing it because the Lord paid a very high price and you can keep this promise this promise that the Lord has given you tonight soon we will have an answer from the Lord and you will be able to to say the Lord has power amen so tonight this the service tonight was a, a very important point in your life and you can testify in on his time that you will have proved that he has heard your prayer now we're going to have another prayer and afterwards we're going to close it we want to praise the lord because you have been given our have, have been our sh shield and our strength we praise you because even if we go through the valley of shadow of death we cannot fear because you are with us our prayers have not been in vain we praise your name because your angels have been brought them to the lord and the answer have been coming according to your time lord we praise you because the victory of the lord have been with us we praise you as a church we praise you because this because of this body of this family this shelter you have taken care of we thank you for our personal life because you have done even though we may not even notice we thank you for this banquet that was served us tonight. Our soul has been satisfied, Lord. We want to bless you because once again, we praise you, Lord. Unto the coming of the Lord Jesus. We praise you in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. We save Lord. This service and every prayer that was made here tonight even those that have been made in the silence but you are the God that is almighty all-knowing we trust your power Lord and we will be waiting for your answer Lord be with us take us home in peace bless each one that entered here in your house tonight every family member and that we may have a weekend that is blessed in your presence that we may have service lord there they are blessed in which your angels are going to be sent to minister in our behalf and that we may see salvation in your house lord and we may glorify your name receive the service is a prayer that we make in the name of jesus and in your name we say that wonderful grace of our lord and savior jesus christ the love of our eternal Father, 
the sweet and tender consolation and gift of the Holy Spirit may pour out may be poured out upon us now and forever. Amen. The church may be seated. I'd like to remind the, ch the church that during this weekend we are going to have a seminar in Newark, the Church of Newark, and I ask you that you continue to pray for the classes that are going to be ministered, the church that are going, the, the trips of those that are going to go through trip, some through by car and some by plane, that may God may give us deliverances as we go and as we come back, and the name of the Lord may be glorified. I want to say peace to the Lord. If you need a prayer, we are here at your disposal. Thank you.